Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my A5 Erin Condren Daily Duo. Alright, so this week I'm going to start planning for Sunday the 3rd until Saturday the 9th. I'm not starting on the 1st this month because I did just get back from vacation and I didn't actually bring my planner, um, which was on purpose. I was trying to just leave everything at home and have a good time. I don't know if you guys have gone on vacation or done anything since COVID, but it was the first time I actually got out of the house and went and did something fun so I wanted to make sure that I just really sat back and enjoyed my time so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be using the pumpkin dreams kit this has seven different sticker sheets, all of the bottom boxes. I think what I'm going to do is actually put down the base of the kit first and then come back and start planning Sunday. It is already halfway or mid morning. Um, you guys will probably see this video later on this evening. So I wanna make sure that I get this done and ready for you. I like to have all of my stickers and everything down first before I actually start putting putting um, anything in the planner. I think I might write on the to-do list, yeah, a couple spots, but um, that is exactly why I like this planner. And then I also have a lot of these little sticky notes that I put up at the top here before I actually put my stickers down and then I transfer that down. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is exactly why I changed our A5 kits to have an extra washi strip. So instead of seven washi strips, I have eight because I like to have the same for each side. So for days like this, when the week ends on the left hand side, I like to have the same washi on the right hand side. So I'm going to put this down. Now I don't have a Sunday sticker on this sheet, but I do have one in my sticker book here. So I will just grab an extra one of those, um, which is perfect. Perfect. And then I will put the rest of the numbers in my sticker book when I'm done along with any of the extra stickers that I might have left over. I don't typically have a ton for the A5 kits, but we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and plan for the third. All right, the first thing I want to put down is my large box. I'm going to put it over the calendar sticker here. I like to put in my focus for the day in these boxes um, or just in the top section. Sometimes I put it over on the left hand side, but today I'm going to actually put it in the top there. I'm going to put in the weather as well. So let me see, it's actually kind of chilly today. It's definitely fall. Um, fall hit like pretty much right when it said it was going to hit and has stayed that way for the rest of the week. So it is a little cloudy. Um, the other night I actually put on the heat. Can you guys believe it? It was about 50, almost, 40 degrees the other night. I couldn't believe it. So um, it is actually 63 degrees today. I'm going to put that right here. 
All right, and then I'm going to grab one of these sweet cake stickers since I will be uploading the stickers today. And actually, I think I'm going to use some of these as well for the left hand side. So I'll leave that open. I'll just put this right in the middle here. All right, and then I just wrote in filming. Typically my filming day is Saturday and my upload Sunday, but I am going to try and do both today. I also wanna mention that I'm using the Pigma Micron 05 pen today. I adore this. It is similar to the Arteza 04 that I use, although I find that this one doesn't smudge as much as the Arteza, so you can see it's not not smudging at all. I only had to wait a couple of seconds where the Arteza, I have to wait a lot longer for that to dry. And when I am filming, I tend to put my wrist on top of the ink pretty much right away. So I grabbed this instead and I'm already so happy with it. All right, so um, this morning I had my AM routine. Let's just grab a pink one here. Um, I like to cover up the 6 a.m. Unless I'm actually already starting to work um, at 6 a.m., sometimes I'll put this larger box over here. And then actually, before I write in my morning routine, um, I do have some of my pumpkin spice lattes. Now, I don't have a latte this morning, but I do have a pumpkin chai tea. Um, I don't have a latte maker, but let's put this one down here. Um, I would love that for this morning, but I'm really enjoying my pumpkin chai tea as well. Um, if you guys have any favorite pumpkin chai teas, let me know. I'm trying to keep it like low calorie, so um, like an actual tea. Definitely let me know if you guys have any favorites. Okay, and then I also grabbed my mini clear sticker dots. I like to use these um, to put in the routine and then also my evening routine as well. It doesn't really matter what color when I use it for this. I do kind of like it to match with the colors that I choose for the kit, but it's not a big deal. All of my um, colors are typically about the same anyway. All right, so the first thing I did this morning was have breakfast still having my tea so I'll just put breakfast here um, I also want to plan for the rest of the day then I also want to make sure that I start my essential oils for the day um, it really does help motivate me while I'm working so I typically use like a peppermint or spearmint while I'm filming or while I'm working in the office I wrote essentials instead of essential oils oh my goodness all right well that is how I'm starting my day already so maybe I need to start them right now <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to grab one of the smaller um, time labels and put that at 9 a.m. here. And as soon as I am done with this video, I am going to work out. Let's see if I have some workout stickers I do. So let's just put this one right on top of it. I better get going for the day. Let's put it right below it. I think it's probably going to be a little bit later that I work out. All right, since it's going to be a little bit later, I'm actually going to write in messages over here. That way I answer all of my messages this morning first and then do my workout. And that will be about until 11 a.m. Perfect. And then I'll take a larger one for my shower and lunch time. Probably like a light snack since I actually had a pretty decent breakfast this morning. All right, and then let's grab our film, edit, and upload stickers. So I'm already filming, but I want to put this here anyway. And let's do 
gray. And that'll probably take me a bit since I do need to film, edit, and upload it. You guys might not see this until about four o'clock this afternoon. Maybe a little bit earlier, but that is my timeline for now. So it'll give me plenty of time to get this up. All right, instead of putting this guy on the bottom here, it would look super pretty. Um, I'm actually just going to use it as a washi strip over here to separate that. You know, I can actually put this all the way across here. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna separate the whole day there. That looks lovely. And then for the rest of the evening, I'm actually going to be packing orders so that um, they can get them picked up tomorrow morning. Um, I do try and take Sundays off work, but because I was on vacation, I am playing a bit of catch up. I've already done all of the orders um, that I had open for when I did go on vacation. These are just the orders that I got yesterday. So I'm going to do pack orders right here. Yeah, that looks great. And this will probably happen until seven. Yeah, that'll give me plenty of time to pack them, label them, and get them ready for pickup tomorrow. And then I'm gonna put two more of these guys. I'll just finish with the top two here. All right, so I wanna prep for tomorrow. Now prepping for tomorrow means kind of setting up um, the next day on what I need to do. So I'll put in my stickers for um, my doctor's appointment tomorrow, what my main goal is for the day. I usually look at my command center. This really helps me to get ready for the next day. I also like to um, either cross off all of my daily tasks or my weekly tasks. So um, for today, I did my AM routine. Um, read a little bit. I haven't gone outside yet, um, things like that. So I like to make sure that I get all of these things done, charge my devices for this evening. And then if I have met any of my weekly goals for the week, like game night, um, an audio book, lose a pound, things like that, um, I will check off here. And then I look over here to see what my main task for work is for that day. Um, so typically, like I said, Sunday is my day off. So I just kind of switch these two around. Since I was already on vacation, I guess I don't really need a whole day off today. So um, I will do that. Um, and then I will... I'm gonna put in charge my devices here since it is already on my daily um, routine in my command center. I have not gotten um, used to doing that in the evening yet. So this is also something that I wanna make sure that I start doing. So I'm just gonna put it on today so I remind myself, even though I am going to be looking at my command center tonight, um, I think that putting it there will help me to establish that as a goal. All right, and then I wanna put down my checklist here. So I'm gonna put down this checklist box on the left here and let's go ahead and cover up the to-do sticker with one of these and then let's see do i want to put another to-do down let's put one of these foiled to-do stickers. I don't actually have foiled stickers in the shop anymore. I might bring them back. I do like to make them for myself still, um, but if you guys are interested in getting more foiled stickers, definitely let me know down below. Like I said, I like to make them for myself, but I'm not quite sure if you guys would want some foiled stickers since I do a lot of colorful stickers in the shop. All right, so the to-do 
do is there. Oh, and our boxes, of course. So let's go ahead and put down um, our box sticker here. I guess I could have moved that washi strip up a little bit, but this will be fine. Oh, that looks great. All right, and then let's go ahead and put down our other empty box here first, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down all of my extra stickers for the rest of the week here. I'm not gonna plan like the whole week, just um, today, but I thought that you guys might want to see what the rest of the kit looks down. Um, and let's go ahead and put down this box sticker here, yeah. Since it's like a whole rainbow theme for Sunday and Monday. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and put this one for my AM routine up here. And we'll grab, let's grab this yellow one. All right, for this week, I'm actually going to just put one box on the right hand side here. And then Thursday, I'm actually going to use this for a little to buy list down at the bottom because Thursday is usually when I do a lot of my grocery shopping. So I wanna make sure that I use that fully um, for my to buy list. So I'm just going to take one of these script stickers and put that right down here. Perfect. And I still have my box sticker here. So sometimes I utilize these boxes. Um, I also have one of these. I could have used it for here, but this went really well with this um, theme. All right, and then I'll go ahead and finish by putting down my check boxes here and it actually works really well because now I'll have two boxes for um, Saturday and Sunday when typically I'd only have one box left for the seven days. All right, so I have these two boxes left, which is perfect. Let's put this one down on the left side. And actually, let's see, we can put these two. You can see I already have it written down. I need to do my um, cousin setup. So if all goes well, you guys will see my full um, Hobonichi Cousin setup next Sunday. So I'll still be using my A5 daily planner, but I'm also going to be using my Hobonichi Cousin for 2022, plus I'm sure lots of other planners you guys know. But I believe that these two are going to be my main planners. Look at that, so this whole sticker sheet is done. I'm gonna put this one in the top right here to put my focus for the day up at the top. And I'll go ahead and leave the calendar since I have all of my boxes used for that. Perfect, and then I do have a couple of these guys left. All right, great. I think that that is going to be it. I will use the rest of these stickers when I plan throughout the week. You guys can see I do have tons of box stickers left that I can use when I am doing my hourly setup. So that is a look at my week using the Pumpkin Dreams collection. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!